Hello, welcome back to my channel. You already know what time it is. We're doing more moving prep. First up, these giant pictures that I really don't want ruined. So I hope I have enough bubble wrap, but I probably don't, but I'm gonna try to bubble wrap them. I was only able to get two done. There is still one more left, but I am not gonna have enough bubble wrap to finish that one. So we're gonna have to get some more of that when we go to the store later. The kids room is coming along really well. I'm not too sure if there's much else that I can pack of this room until we're closer to the move because Obviously, I still want them to have some toys to play with, but I've been trying to get a little more decoration stuff And we can't pack the curtains because they still need to sleep in here and have it dark. You get it It's so hard to figure out what is packable because I just feel like there's a lot that's not but I know that that can't be true We also don't have we only have a small box and a large box So I don't know what I can do with what I got, you know, so it's a new day last night We finished all of these and then those three things were like hidden behind the couch but needed to get packaged. And please excuse the disaster of a house, but we also packaged up the mirror and got that all bubble wrapped. So I don't know what I'm accomplishing today because the last thing I want to do is pack, but I need to. I need to be getting things done. No days off because I don't want it to get down to it and I have a crap ton left to do. So, okay, I just found this giant thing that I forgot about. So I'm going to wrap this. Okay, so I just realized that my husband never got the boxes we bought out of the car and I cannot leave both of the kids in the house to go to the car and get it and I can't carry boxes in the house with two kids also being carried so I have this one box in the house and that's all I can pack and then to be honest with you I'm giving up for the day today has been pretty terrible yesterday was pretty terrible as well and I'm probably gonna go for a drive and try to just zone out of motherhood for a little bit, but I'm gonna try to pack this box first. Okay, so we have like a bunch of board game type of things that we literally never do anything with. We never play with them, but I think Charles wants to keep them. I don't know, once the kids are older, I'm sure that they will get used, but they don't right now, but I'm just gonna tape them up so that pieces don't go flying, and I'm packing them up. I am past my ovulation for this cycle, which pretty much means that the rest of my cycle until my period hits is gonna be hell for me, because my luteal phase is just really bad. I don't know why. Maybe it's PMDD. I've talked about this on TikTok before, but I just have the worst luteal phase ever. I don't have like a normal PMS and it's not just like the week before my period. It's like literally pretty much from ovulation till my period and it's rough and I just get super fatigued and unmotivated and a little bit like depressed feeling and it's just really hard and I don't want to do anything and obviously right now I don't exactly have the choice to just not do anything because we have to pack the whole house. Sometimes I have to try to make content even though it's been really hard for me and it's been showing because I've been Progressively declining in the social media world, which really doesn't matter But I just hate to feel like I don't know people are bored with me or I don't know like I just lately have been feeling like I'm just like not interesting anymore and like I don't have anything to offer I went through this little period where I felt like people only cared about my videos when I was depressed and now that I'm not depressed they like can't relate or they're just not interested maybe it's people that wanted to see me fail maybe it's just haters leaving which would be great but you don't know you just see the loss of interest and it's a little hard look at this I started this years ago and I was gonna fill every like box with different little paintings and then I just stopped I don't know why yeah so this is like a bunch of artwork and I don't really know what to do with it a lot of it's from high school. Oh, I love this one. Cause I don't want them to get like ruined. 
Can you tell I'm just over it? Because I'm over it. that's all I've gotten accomplished so far I don't really know what else to put in here especially because like I've been trying to do stuff room by room and not just like put a bunch of random stuff in a box like that way it's easier when we're unpacking like this all goes in this room this all goes in this room if that makes sense but this box is a little bit random pretty much all of the stuff that's able to be categorized already has been so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that for much longer I'm still gonna very clearly like write what's in the box but I don't know if I'm gonna really be able to go room by room anymore so It's a new day again and I think I'm gonna actually try to pack some stuff today I think that I'm gonna start with stuff in the kitchen things that we don't need we don't need all of our pots and pans out We don't need all of our like margarita glasses glass jars things like that So I think I'm gonna try to pack up some of that stuff I think we only have like four medium boxes right now, but I'm gonna see what I can do I also need to start laundry. I'm gonna do that first because I keep forgetting So I'm gonna start with these glass jars that are up here that we literally have never touched Arguably I should throw them away, but I'm keeping them because you never know. I'm the worst. Okay. This is also a dusty nightmare. They're really crappy jars. Like, should I really keep them? I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep like four that haven't been used and I'm going to get rid of the rest of them. Okay, this part is tedious because I have to fill it with paper like so, so that it doesn't, so that it's not so hollow and it's like less likely to break. I don't know. And then I'm going to wrap it in bubble wrap. So I'm going to time lapse that. This is all the rest of the glass stuff. This is getting pretty empty. That top part's getting empty. This has cleared out a bit. So now I'm basically gonna do the same process with all of those that I did with these jars.
Okay, so a lot has happened since we last spoke. So we completely deep cleaned this bathroom. And now it is housing most of our boxes until we have the truck and can move them in there. There's still some boxes in Bentley's room, but that is a lot. We've done a lot. That bathroom is completely emptied. So now, oh my gosh, the lighting. So now everything bathroom wise that we still have out is all in this bathroom and all in this cabinet. So that other bathroom is completely done. And I've just been packing and bubble wrapping. I've mainly been bubble wrapping a bunch of stuff, but it's going well. What I'm doing now, like currently, is going through and trying to get as many screws and nails and push pins and like everything that I can out of the wall. So I'm going to just film some of that and take you with me. the things that are still on the wall which is like one shelf this shelf over here is the only place that we can put our Wi-Fi router so we can't take that down until we shut off our Wi-Fi and then really it's just like the curtains in the kids room otherwise everything is off of the walls this is all of the things that were in the walls it's kind of a lot but we're gonna patch up all the holes but that's everything so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to bubble wrap the guitar that we have that doesn't have a case. We have three guitars and two of them have cases, one of them doesn't, so I'm gonna wrap that and I'm also gonna wrap my piano keyboard. Slight change of plans. We've literally always had one, a, like another case for one of these acoustics and I can't find it anywhere and we have so much stuff packed up now that like one, we've gone through everything, two, all of the rest of our stuff like you can see everything like the closets are like almost empty like you can see everything and it's literally nowhere so i don't know what happened to it but we don't have it so i'm gonna have to bubble wrap both of them Okay, it's all wrapped and that was incredibly difficult to do, but it's done. So I'm gonna give you a rundown on all of the things that have happened and have changed. I didn't post last week because of my anniversary. I think I've talked about that, but so I don't know how much of this I have filmed. I've done a lot of stuff off camera because I've just been very overwhelmed lately and just kind of in the like, I need to get it done type of headspace. So I'm just gonna kind of go through the house, show you some things and close out this vlog and then we will continue on next week. We are getting much closer. There's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of things aside from the move going on that has just made life feel a little bit heavy right now. But here's where we're at. I still have this here. I rearranged the room, but this shelf is mostly empty except for I put that plant there, but that shelf still needs to come down. But otherwise I rearranged stuff. Our big mirror is bubble wrapped and I'm about to pack up the stuff that's in the nightstands but this closet is fairly packed away all of our dressers like all of these extra drawers are empty we just have stuff in the top drawers and everything else is packed away same with mine i have these two drawers and then everything else is empty kids room i took down their like toy thing and so we've got some boxes in here we've just got various little things and then that's pretty empty this closet pretty much the same situation it's all it's all pretty emptied out and then top drawers this is Bentley this is Graham and then this has like a couple blankets but otherwise it's pretty empty this bathroom is where all of our packed stuff is so it all goes back and there's a bunch of boxes and just stuff everywhere behind this door there's a whole nother thing. And so there's a whole bunch shoved in here just to get it kind of out of the way. We completely deep cleaned and emptied out this bathroom. So this bathroom is ready for us to move other than like when the house is completely empty and everything's on the truck coming back through and just giving everything one final um, like vacuum, wipe down, etc. Like there's some dust that falls and stuff like that. But that's how that's going. We obviously still have some boxes just around, but 
The walls are getting much emptier. The kitchen is probably the least packed space because it's the thing that we like need the most of for, you know, eating. But it's getting pretty empty. We always have this corner just full of like boxes ready to be used and bubble wrap and stuff like that. But it's getting better. I'm gonna roll up this rug soon. This is empty other than some blankets over here. I'm kind of keeping them out just in case we want to wrap stuff in them. I'm not sure. I think we're going to get rid of that because it's really, really old. We don't even know if it works anymore and we never use it. But yeah, it's, it's coming along. Things are doing what they need to be doing. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for not only engaging and, I don't know, being interested in the moving content, but just like giving me a space to document it all and I don't know like how to explain it but like engaging with it is very helpful for me because I don't really have any mental space to do anything else right now literally all I'm doing all day every day is packing and move prep and research and like all kinds of stuff to prepare for the move so having you guys be interested in that helps me not feel like I have so much weight to make other content because this is all I have like space for in my brain so thank you for being here thank you for watching um Thank you for everything. I love you guys and I will see you next week.